Assalamualaikum everyone. Happy 29th day of Ramadan. Maybe our last day, maybe not. We'll see. Today we have a very quick, easy craft, um, mostly because it is, you know, we're kind of winding down. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a moon. Very simple. Um, in your bag, you have um, two pieces of paper. Uh, there's if you don't like the colors, one side is definitely going to be, you know, just a solid color. You can always flip it over if you like the white better. Adam, paying attention. And um, and then there should be a pretty color. Like um, this one uh, that I'm going to use for my demonstration is green, and then I have a white to go behind it. So for today's craft, you're going to need a pencil and a pair of scissors and, um, and some glue. Just Elmer's school glue is fine. Um, in addition, you have also been provided two pieces of paper and um, a bag full of little baby pom poms. I am also, just because it's easier for me, I'm going to use a, a, a circular edge. Um, so for that, I'm gonna use a little Pyrex container. It can be anything that's round, um, or you can just freehand it if you want. This is one of those small Pyrex. You're, you're fine, just follow along. This is one of those small Pyrex. It's about, uh, I'd say about five inches around. So if I'll give you a couple of minutes anything, otherwise I will get started. Go grab a pencil. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side while we demonstrate. So I found a really easy way to make a moon. What, well, let me actually, before we go forward, let me tell you why you have two pieces of paper. So I made, made a cutout on one of them. And so what you can do is you can actually kind of see the color behind it, between, behind the pom-poms. So you pick whichever color you want to see more of, that'll be your top sheet. And whichever one you want to see less of will be your bottom sheet. So I'm really liking the green, so I'm going to use that one on top. It's um, it's actually it shows up a little muted on the screen, but it's actually just a really beautiful um, green color. So to make my moon, I'm going to take this uh, round container, round dish, kind of it doesn't matter, just kind of pseudo center it in the in the middle of the in the middle of the um, of the paper, and I'm just going to trace it, not all of it, but just imagine if you're drawing a moon, do about that much. Then I'm going to take that same dish and move it over a little bit. And then you see how I'm getting get the moon shape. So you can just move it over to somewhere. If you like the shape of it, that's perfect. There's no right or wrong here. And then go ahead and trace that again. So you see with that, I now have, um, I now have a moon shape. You can kind of see that. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't matter that it's not perfect. If you want, you can go back and erase this line. Not a big deal. So I'll give everybody a minute to draw out your moon. So I wouldn't go all the way around. Okay. And then, so I actually wanted mine to be angled a little bit. So um, that's why I chose to do a little offset, but it's totally up to you. No, you can erase it afterwards. Like, that, like wherever you want. Okay. Okay. I got, I got two people here. So here, if you're going you know, to erase here, draw your circle or wherever you want it. What's that mean? Headphones? Or that's perfect. No, that's perfect. Okay. No, you want to go a little bit more than that. So um, you want to go about three quarters around the, the bowl to get the first, uh, to get the round. Okay. Like this. I'm going to go right here, all the way up to there. And about oh, there. Okay. Then when you make the second one, just offset it a little bit and decide where you want it. Like you want an angle like that. I just have to go back and fold that part in a little bit. Fill this part of the circle in. Okay, so now you have your moon. 
So you can erase the part that you don't need. Now, the easiest way to do the cut is, it's gonna be hard to like break into the paper like that. And so on mine, what I did is if you see, there's a little cut right there. It's not a big deal. It's gonna get hidden anyway when they you know come back together. So just do a simple, hang on, gotta fix this. Um, do a simple cut from the, you know, some part of the paper up and then cut, uh, cut out your moon shape. Just go around that, that line that you, uh, I gave it to me. I gave it to me. Mm -hmm. You're perfect. And then go around the moon shape that you just made. This is a very short, quick craft, so don't worry um, if you're a little behind. It's okay. It's, we're going to go. Um, it's not going to take long to put the whole thing together. One day it's something simple, just as we're wrapping up Ramadan. I hope that you've enjoyed all the arts and crafts this year. And we are, I've already started thinking about ideas for next year and next Eid. So keep that in mind. Okay. All right, so see, I got my cutout and now just a little moon shape. It does not be perfect. It's fine. It's going to get covered up anyway. Good job. If you want, um, before we do the next step, you are you can staple these two, tape these two pieces of paper together. You can just hold them together. It doesn't really matter because um, it's just your back piece. And then it's very simple. You're just going to take uh, cover this whole area with glue um, and then start laying down your pom poms. Now, the pom poms will take some time to dry and they will need a significant amount of glue. So um, you're going to be, you know, use quite a bit of it. So on this one, my sample one, I actually went in rows. So I like that. They're very random. It's just take handfuls. You can even just take handfuls and dump it onto the glue. It's totally Whatever you want to do, it's going to look good in the end, no matter what. I'll take a few. Here's my little pom poms, and I'm just going to start at the top. And I'm just going to start making rows. Now you can go around and then come back and fill it in if you want. If you like it just on the edges, you're free to do that. Use this one. And I'm just going to go random with my colors. They're all, uh, they should be roughly the same size. So it should be pretty easy for you to do this. But it's gonna have a nice look at the end. And the colors are very random. So don't, you know, don't try to just get one cut kind of color. Now, if you feel like sorting them, if you've been watching the home edit and on Netflix and you want to sort them all into different colors first, then that's up to you. You can do rows and do it like a rainbow style. Is that what you're going to do, Nisa? No, probably, not. probably not. You're going to keep it random. So I'm doing rows. Okay, I'm making little rows of them, but you can do any way you want. Like this? Yeah. It looks really good. Oh, that's fine. You're doing perfect. You can't really get it wrong because it is art and you can do whatever you like. So I only filled in half of it with glue on my first time. So I've got to go back and add some more glue. And then I decided I didn't like where that one was, so I'm gonna put the purple one right there. So now I need a whole bunch more glue for the next. Now this is because it has quite a bit of glue, it's gonna take a while to dry. So once you get done, I would not lift it for a while, maybe leave it on the table for 
you know, a day or so, a couple hours maybe. And you can always, if some of them come off, you can always go back and add some more. I should have done this one in, in uh, some sort of order. Oops, I don't want a purple next to a purple. Do you want any colors next to each other? I don't want my colors next to each other. Just because. I want some diversity. Oh, I want to see it if you do. So Nisa says she's going to might maybe try to do it, sort them and do them in a in colors, like one row of each color. So that should be nice to see a different choice. And if you don't like which where one color is looking, just pick it up and move it. We'll see, it's um, like about 10 minutes and I'm already three quarters of the way done. There's some, these pretty, the purple ones are really pretty. What's your favorite color in here, Anissa? You don't know? You like all the colors? What's yours, Evan? What? Which is your favorite color ball? Blue. Blue? Yeah, I knew you'd say that. So around um, December, November, December, I tend to start walking the stores and looking at what kind of decorations they have for different holidays and then saying, oh, we could do that for our holidays. So I get lots of ideas that way. Um, you can put those in here as well. There two weeks ago that project had a lot of beads that we gave you. So you have those with you as well if you make your, um, your moon a little bit bigger. All right, I'm about wrapping up. It looks like I have just the right amount because I ended up with about four leftovers. So let's see if I want to squeeze those in anywhere. Now they're all in, I'm gonna just squish them down a little bit. So they're all touching the, touching the glue. All right, I am happy with that. So now to decorate the rest of it, I'm just gonna take those markers that we had from last week's project. Was it last week or the week before? Two weeks ago, those little, those little markers we gave you. And I'm just gonna take those out. And I'm going to just make some stars all around. And making stars, if you've never done them, super simple. You can go complicated or you can just do two pluses that are kind of offset from each other. If you know how to write in Arabic or otherwise um, in English, you can write Ramadan Mubarak at the top. Um, you can use this, you can give this as a gift to someone if you'd like, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to fill this with a bunch of random stars. And then it'll, the whole thing will just look more festive. And it's okay if you're not where I am. Um, both of my kids are not done yet. And that's okay too. So today's simple and easy while everybody's getting ready for Eid. Inshallah. Good job. 
So would you like to start drawing some stars too? So draw a plus and then, so here, so here's my one. And the X. Do a plus and then an X and you get a nice little star. And they don't have to be perfect. Oh, I like the size of yours up. It's big, it's nice. But one of them went under my computer. This spot right here is empty. I feel like it needs another color. Oh, there's the blue. Oh, I got lots of stars now. This is a nice starry night sky. And you can go out and look at the moon tonight. Maybe you will be the one that will see a crescent, the new moon. It should be probably until like tomorrow night, actually. You'll be able to see a tiny little sliver of a new moon. And that is the indication that it is Eve. Now, we also, if you have any stickers left over from last week's project, you can also use those. We have one left over. Would you like to use your sticker? Mine? Mm -hmm. Is my last one? I don't know. Didn't you use them up? What we put them all on the on the fire on the crackers. I only made two. Oh. I didn't even touch mine. I made a bunch of them. I didn't even touch my little. Oh no, they're on there. We have eight crackers that we get wow, to. Wow, how many tomorrow. did I make? Two. Which two? You make um the blue and the blue. But was my moon and all it's like. It's on there. Go stick them on. Go look at them. used them for the other one. You said I could make them for you. Oh. Oh, you used them? Mm -hmm. So, see, look, I got these. What? <clears throat> oh, did they start coming off? So, look how cute these are. Don't these look all nice decorating somewhere? We're going to have four of them around our house. Now you happen to have um, a bunch of extras. So if you actually wanted, you could draw in a star and uh, it might be hard to cut out the star right now, but you could actually just make a little star right there with your other ones. Mm. Right here. Mm. You wanna try it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, let's slide all that over here. You wanna show them what you're doing? So that way people can watch what you're doing. I didn't end up having any extra, but you did, so. <laughs> that one didn't have enough glue. This one's working really well. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yep, and you got your star on there too. I thought you were gonna do it in rainbow order. I did the blue. Oh, I thought you meant. Um, I thought you were gonna do like red and then yellow and blue and green. Did anybody do them that way? Oh no, you can't lift it up. Can't lift it up. Yeah, like I said, there's gonna need time to dry before you lift this up. So that's what's gonna happen if you do move them. So. Just let them dry. We'll just uh, have to angle your computers down so we can see them um, or angle your camera so we can everybody can see what your work is. So some of others came off. We just had to add some more glue and stick them back down.
you were able to make a little star. You have more still. You can put them around the, somewhere else if you want. Um, you can use craft tape instead of glue because it dries really easily. Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. I didn't have any of that around, so I just did glue. So now I'll just have to sit here and wait. Wait, where should I make my next one? I don't know, wherever you want. It's your artwork. You get to decide. <laughs> now where your dry is clear. <laughs> That's cute. That one's not going to stay on. Yeah. Well, I guess it could be a little lot of glue. How's it coming, Lisa? Mm -hmm. I have a little hole right there. Do I have any left over? Oh, there's one right there. Let me steal that. Need one. I need one. One little pom pom that ran away. I'll push it into that little spot. One dot, two dot, three dot, four dot. Awesome. And stick your little pom pom down on that. Now we know which one is yours if we didn't know because it was blue. That is sweet. Robin's added some stars at the top. He's got to be stars along with his crescent. And the crescent with a star. And the crescent with a star and then two extra stars. But you're missing one right there. What? You're missing one palm right there. Oh, there's a green one right here. I have four, one, two, three, four, four, five left. Perfect, which is how many you need to make one stop, right? Almost done? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Should I make a mini moon? Um, probably don't have enough to make a mini moon. Yeah, probably don't. <laughs> make one more stuff. Where should I make it? I'll make it right here. Perfect. This is between two steps. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, it's a very simple, easy little craft, but it was just something to wrap up Ramadan with. And I hope that you have a wonderful Eid. And um, tonight's still, we still have one more special night, the 29th night. So spend your time wisely. Our month is leaving us. But inshallah, watch watch Muslim Space for more fun events coming up in months to come. Oh, very nice. You put Ramadan. This is mine. Oh, very nice. I put Ramadan Kareem on it. Huh? I put the words Ramadan Kareem. Oh, I love it. Let's see, she was wrote Ramadan Kareem too. <laughs> there was blue. The blue, uh, where does I have it? Okay. What are you putting at the bottom? Again. Okay. <laughs> you can do that. Very nice. I think I like yours better. The rainbow uh, edge is very pretty. Let's show everybody yours. Mm -hmm. So this is Anissa. She did a. She she went around first and did a rainbow edge. Oh, slipped away from her. Oh, there we go. So see how she has a rainbow edge.
That's very, very nice. Oh, she's not done drawing stars. Mine has a lot of stars, as you can tell. And you can even put it all right on the seam and then you won't be able to see the seam anymore. It gets hidden. Oh, that's very nice. I have a lot of an A. Oh, now you need an M. It's very fancy lettering. <laughs> Here's, let me show you others because it looks really cool. I want to slide it over. Oh, you're not done? Okay. All right, when you're done, we'll show everybody. Are you going to write anything on it? Yes. Anyone else have theirs to show? Oh, look at that. Good job. I like it. I, did you freehand that? Because it looks like a really good moon. I can't hear you, Ryan. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, it looks really good. And you, it looks like you're gonna have a lot left over. So you can, oh, did they all fall off? Uh, no, I'm still doing mine. Oh, okay. okay. Here, let's show you Adam's. He wrote it in fancy script. So I thought we'd show you. This is Ramadan Kareem at the top and bottom. That's very pretty cool. cool. Oops, okay. Once it dries, I'll put them all up on the shelf and then we can see all our colorful um, decorations. They'll be ready for Eid. Squish. That's kind of nice to squish them. I need one more. You need one more? Do you have one spare? I'm going to use you. Oh. I need one, one more. Okay. You want to take one of mine? No, Here, you, you can take the blue one. There. Do you not need it? No, it's okay. It was a spare. <laughs> Where is it going to go in that little hole? <laughs> so Adam ended up with a hole, so he has to go fill it. I think today sounds like a great day for an uh, for a Ramadan nap. You guys think? I think every day is a great day for Ramadan nap. Wow, Baluli, nice job! Look at Baluli's in the room. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like that a lot. Good job. So proud. I like this 3D effect Adam has. He has one on top. This is a very, a very um, tactically interesting feel. Good job. Good job, everyone. And um, early Eid Mubarak to you all. Thank you. Everybody say thank you.